Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have two job updates and let's see it one by one. The first job update is from Coffee Beans and they are hiring for data science, DevOps or QA and this is a fresher hiring. Now let's see what you will be doing. You will participate in the design, development and testing of software application and you will collaborate with senior developer and cross-functional team to deliver high quality software solution. You will apply the problem solving skills to identify and resolve technical challenges. You will continuously learn and adapt to new technologies, tools and methodologies. You will engage in code reviews and contribute to the culture of continuous improvement and develop a clear understanding of software development lifecycle processes and best practices. Now let's see what they are looking for. They are looking for a B.Tech or B.E. in computer science or any related field and proficiency in DSA, OOPS concept and fundamental computer science concept. You should have a strong aptitude for problem solving and analytical thinking, passion for building a career in software development, basic understanding of software development best practices and methodology. You should have an excellent communication skill and the ability to work in a team environment, enthusiasm for learning new technology and staying updated with the industry trend. Now, let's see the preferred skill and qualification record for this role. You should have the exposure to one or more programming languages such as Java, Python, C++ or JavaScript. Also, you should be familiar with software development tools and environments such as Git, Visual Studio Code or, or IntelliJ IDEA and you should know the basic knowledge of databases and SQL, experience with version control systems such as Git. Now, let's see the second job update. And the second job update is from EY and it is an associate analyst role. And the job location is Gurugram. Now, let's see the key responsibilities of this role. You should conduct research using both systematic and initiative secondary research techniques. And you should analyze the research finding, draw interferences and conclusion in response to the research requirement. You should understand the key requirements of firms and regulator risk management rules and policies and use the analytical and project management methodology and tools. You should complete all the assigned project and task in the line with the standard operating procedure and ensure the completeness and accuracy and appropriateness to the all the tasks assigned. You should facilitate and drive the process to completion by timely followed upon the request on onshore and you should plan and organize own work and keep the project manager key stakeholder in form of the status and activity. You should perform a self-review of the results prior of the submitting to the project manager. Flag issues or potential challenges to the project manager at an appropriate time so that timely action to be initiated. Now, let's see the skills and attributes required for this role. You should have an exceptional and proven customer service skill including responsiveness and committed to the quality. You should have the highest standard of ethics, integrity and values and you should be highly motivated with the ability to perform well even under pressure. And the role may require working post shift hours and you should plan and organize own work and keep others informed of status and activity. You should have the ability to work in a team and foster teamwork among others. Also. You should have the ability to work in a global mindset and you should have a good analytical skills with a logical mindset. Now, let's see what will qualify you for this role. You should have an MBA, MCOM or MA or equivalent postgraduate degree from a reputed institution. You should have 0 to 6 months of experience in research or analysis role. And you should have the exposure to handling international customer or client interaction and it will be preferred. And you should have a well-developed analytical, interpersonal and communication skills in English, both verbal and written. Also, intermediate level of knowledge in MS Office, 
must be well versed with the financial instruments used for investment purposes like shares mutual funds insurance and etc you must be well acquainted with the terminologies like isin cusips and etc we will give you the apply link in the description and if you found this video helpful hit the like button subscribe and share it to your friends